seen as this hip progressive church that's drawing huge millennial crowds, but it's still evangelical. So where do you stand on social issues that, that young people are particularly passionate about, like gay marriage, abortion? How do you address those types of things? So it's not a sin in your church to have an abortion? Um, that's the kind of conversation we would have finding out your story, where you're from, what Work you believe. Work through it, like talk yeah, about Yeah, I mean, God's the judge. People have to live to their own conviction. Should we allow him back? Can we trust them? Carl Lentz is back. Sort of. Maybe. Carl Lentz, who had an epic fall, uh, he was touted, uh, he was noted by a lot of the mainstream media, he was promoted, he was what you consider to be the quintessential celebrity pastor. And when I say celebrity pastor, a celebrity. I just want to love Carl more. <laughs> You're doing a good job with that. I seen you on Instagram. <laughs> what up, man? How y'all doing? I, I said that's the only way I knew it was. The question is, after his fall, after his one distortion of text, I think that's the bigger issue, but then also his infidelity and things of that nature. Is he allowed to come back? Now, there were wranglings and wonderings because he was with those at uh, Transformation Church at Mike Todd's church in what capacity. No one ever really fully knew or understood. Is he going to be restored as some sort of maybe assistant or associate pastor? Is he going to show up to preach every now and then? In what capacity? And so rightly so, people were worried, people were concerned. What is he going to do? How is it going to happen? Well, he just gave a little bit of an inkling as to what he's going to be doing. Apparently a podcast, not pastoring, not preaching. But it all came crashing down last night. That was a pretty snazzy little marketing little deal. I like that. That was well put together. A couple of things that we saw about that. One, he says, I'm not back. I'm not that guy. That guy is gone. Amen. What guy is gone, though? Which guy? Which parts? I think the Bible is clear. As a matter of fact, it's something that I can, I can identify with. The Bible says, brethren, if anyone is caught in a trespass. You who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness, each one looking to yourself so that you too will not be tempted. If someone is genuinely repentant and they have changed, they've moved on, they've grown, we should restore. The problem sometimes is our skepticism comes in and we wonder, has that person actually repented? Have they changed? What have they changed from? Are they repentant in the sense that they have some sorrow because they just got caught? It was epic and I've got to do something. And is that person rehabilitating themselves or just their brand? We don't know. We don't have the ability to know at least just yet. And the other question is, if he wants to come back, in what capacity can he come back? Now, you notice that there was a woman there in the in the video. I'm going, I don't know who his wife is and the woman that he had the affair with. I have no idea. I'm going to assume that's his wife. That'd be pretty bad. Be pretty bad if that's not the wife, that's the other woman. So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that is his wife. And so she has forgiven. She's moved on. He's moved on. And so hopefully that part is taken care of. All the things that can come at a person came at him. His biggest problem, we had two big problems. One, the Bible speaks about this warning. It says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes and the boastful pride of life is not from the father, but it's from this world. And he got caught up in that. He did. He was a celebrity. He was speaking to all of these different people with Oprah. Do you believe that only Christians can be in relationship with God? No, I believe that when Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life in the way I read that, Jesus said he is the he's the road marker. He's the map. So I think God loves people so much that whether they accept or reject him, he's still gracious and he's still moving was it i'm not sure was it justin bieber's or someone that was famous that was his pastor or he was their pastor that can kind of go to your head i know that stuff accolades the patting on the back the, the lifting you up 
that can go to your head. And so sometimes a fall is in order. A fall is what's prescribed. A fall is what's needed. If anyone thinks he stands, take heed lest you fall. And that works in so many different ways. If you think that you are on firm footing, you need to have your legs kicked out from under you so you can fall and really fall hard. I can testify to that. And thankfully, if it's done by God for the benefit of restoring you, well, then nothing works better. So I pray that that's what happened. Now, can he come back and be a pastor? I don't think that's what he's looking at. Just to, I think, just have a podcast or, or a channel. I'm not sure what at all. We'll find out. We'll find out really, really soon. But what if a person wanted to come back to be a pastor? Has what he's done, has it disqualified him? Well, there's a couple of things. If we go to this passage, 1 Timothy 3, we are here on this passage quite often because it's a necessary passage. Why? Because we've got a lot of preachers, pastors that are before us that we need to see. We, there are a lot that really are unqualified. But he says this person must be above reproach. Is he? Now, that is a present um, issue. So is he above reproach now? Was he above reproach in the past? Well, none of us had at any point in time in the past. We could look back and find that yeah, you wasn't above reproach. But now, Yes, but now that, that that necessarily means something, though. We'll talk about that in a second. The husband of one wife. I think he's got past that, hopefully. Temperate, prudent, respectable. The respectable part, is he? That's not something that he can control. Well, he does. He controls what they respect. But if they found him to be unrespect, not respectable prior, and he's trying to rehabil rehabilitate that and become respectable, he can't control how the people think about him about his past going forward. Hospitable, able to teach. One of his biggest issues was his um, desire to kind of skirt the issues and not, you know, be bold for the gospel. Is this a sin? Is that a sin? And not want to tell people, especially as it relates to the, to the alphabet community, just not want to take a stand. Well, if you haven't changed of that, well then with all due respect, if you haven't fixed that, if you haven't decided to take a stand for Christ, then don't come back kick rocks, stay lost. We don't need that. Matter of fact, we got enough pastors, preachers, teachers, whomever that simply don't take a stand for the, for the word. And so they must be able to teach, not addicted to wine or pugnacious, but gentle. I don't know if he had a drug issue. I'm not sure. Drink here. I, I, I don't know. Somebody might know better than me. I don't know. Uh, free from the love of money, but it's not just the love of money. It's just the love of what comes from money, the attention, the fame, same thing. He must be one who manages his own household. I don't know. He knows that. But if we drop down a little bit more, he says, and he must have a good reputation with those outside of the church so that he will not fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. The people on the outside, as well as the inside, must have a good view of you. Not, it's not going to be a 100 percent consensus consensus. It's not going to happen. No one ever had that. So are there going to be some folks who are going to always remember what he's done and want to remind him? Sure. But the prevailing thought needs to be, if you're ever going to be before the people, I think really an incapacity is how they look at you. And so sometimes you can't control that. If when they see him, they think of that, that past, that's going to be a problem. He's got to get past that. He's got to deal with folks coming at him and be aware of that because that's something that he brought on himself, something I brought on myself. And so when you see me or you see him or you see anyone else, what sticks out? Is it the past? Is that you can't get past the past? If you can't see where they are now, well, then unfortunately, there are consequences. Some person can have the same sin as another person. One person is allowed to come back to that, maybe that same position, whereas the other is neither one of them can complain about what's fair or unfair. It's just the consequences, how they are. Somebody might fall. Two people fall the same way. One breaks a leg, one not a scratch. Another may die from it. Who knows? Things are unfair in life. And so he knows that. Hopefully he knows that. So can he come back? Sure. To what capacity? It varies. Should we accept him? Should we trust him? Well, it's not up to us. We should restore him if we if he's asking for it, not necessarily into that particular ministry, but at least in terms of uh, a proper role, in terms of the fellowship. Sure. Extend love because at some point in time, you too will need that. As a matter of fact, not at some point in time, you have needed that and will in the future. So it's not up to us to determine if he's forgiven. If it, it, It's up to God who does the forgiving. We should treat him that way if he's asked for forgiveness from us. And I believe he has. Don't know. But all we can do is wait, see, pray for the best. So I wish him the best. I really do. I don't know a ton about him. I don't know what he's been doing. I think it's been good that he's been kind of quiet and out of the way. And so I really pray because we need men 
who have fallen, who get back up and lead it the godly way. Leave life, live life the godly way. As long as he's not going to be, as James says, interesting choice of words, you adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is hostility towards God? If he's not going to be one of these kind of kind of skirt the line, kind of hip uh, persons that are just more about the culture than he is for Christ, again, we don't need that. But if he has changed, if he's grown from that and is bold for the Christ after a fall, yeah, we could use that. We could use more of that. Amen. Amen.